So I did an interview with a rap artist named Nick Natoni the other day, and a revelation in that caused some controversy. Now, I pressed Nick on his blatant use of Masonic imagery and hand signals throughout his videos and the products that he promotes. Um, it, it was all over the place. And, you know, he says that he is exposing the truth in his videos and with, with what he, you know, the hand signals he makes and, and the products that he, you know, puts out there. So he says it's like a calling card. Now, obviously I pressed and pressed and pressed him to, you know, talk about why it was so prominent within his videos, artwork, etc. And, you know, he gave me what I thought was a good excuse at first, which was that, you know, that was just to, to draw you in clickbait. He said it was clickbait. As I pressed on, he said something that I did not expect. Check it out. Fake news, fake press. Nick Natoli is one of them. He discovered QAnon about a year and a half ago, but he started sharing his views as the pandemic hit the US. He can spend up to 16 hours a day online researching conspiracies. JFK was definitely murdered by CIA. You're taking it from someone who's got JFK on their arm. 9-11 was an inside job. Uh, people in our government who are working towards a deep state who are trying to keep us controlled. Children are being har harvested children are being farmed yeah. for adrenochrome yeah. by celebrities and politicians do you subscribe to that not outlandish at all reptilian aliens the um epstein connection mk ultra is a huge one this is conspiracy yeah. overload um, let's have a look at i want to have a look at some art now there's a lot of um you know i've been through your your instagram and oh, cool. um, obviously there's a lot of uh album art um a lot yeah. of obviously, pictures a lot of uh promotion uh stuff like that sure so Going on the um, throughout your your you know you, you say that you're trying to uh, get out there the truth by using imagery and things like that. In a lot of your videos, you use a lot of sort of uh, hand signals, yeah, and, and things like that. And and usually these sort of hand sig signals are covering the eye or you know the, yeah, yeah. the eye of providence. Yeah. Uh, these are usually used by people that may have uh, sort of. Uh, nefarious influences um, behind them in the music industry in Hollywood etc right. and they will use these symbols and I noticed that that um, this is quite heavily involved in in a lot of the, the artwork I want you to talk me through your thought process behind what you're doing and, 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 and some of these images if you will back to clickbait I hate to kind of demoralize everything that I'm doing and kind of take the mystery out of it but back to clickbait man like I've got a serious important message that I feel like the American people need to get. And so I'm willing to use any means necessary in order to get them that message. I know about the, you know, what the symbolism means. I know everything, you know, I'm very well versed in this. I mean, extremely yeah. well versed in this stuff. So at the end of the day, you know, I, I'm having some fun. I'm playing with my audience, but I'm really just trying to you know, put a smoke alarm out and say, hey, Nick Natoli, Nick Natoli, what's he got in his artwork? I don't know. What's he doing in his video? I don't know. But what is he saying? is the end goal. That's where I'm trying to lead okay. everybody to. I mean, that, that makes sense. But at the same time, you know, I, I look at this stuff and I, <laughs> I get a lot of flack. <laughs> well, I, I could, I, to, to be honest with you, could imagine because on the one hand, you're saying, you know, you're, you're saying you're exposing these and, and you are, you're exposing these yeah. things, you're, you know, you're saying them. And then on the other hand, um, you see, I'm, you know, seeing a lot of, you know, the, the 666, um, yeah circle uh you know uh, on the eye the covering of the eye uh and, and throughout and, and so you're saying that, uh, that this is this is really is about um drawing people in to, to ask why yeah, and then yeah. and then hooking them yeah if you so can take an example if, yeah if you can take a small example of what i'm talking about why are you talking to me about this that's what i'm talking about i got yeah. mc of truth to ask me that question that's what i'm saying that's the fire and the heat in the nick natoli project right now is what is this about well, what's that about well is he in or is he out or if you're talking about it then my job is done and i get to walk away from the computer screen and go back to bed like my job's done man like <laughs> well, you certainly got you certainly got my attention anyway, yeah. and it's certainly. Yeah. But I've been like, right, okay, let's look into this. Let's look into that. So, Light like, more. yeah, I mean, Light another more. example of uh, you know, Albmar again with the Eye of Providence. Um, yeah. But as just explained, uh, uh, this one is quite a striking and shocking image. Yeah, um, I mean, this is from what, what's this from? Oh, that's from the Adrenochrome music video shoot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which 
which in the that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So like in the background of the of the video, I'm talking about the Franklin conspiracy. I'm talking about the Franklin cover up. I'm talking about uh, Disney and and I'm ta- if you look at the chalkboard that I'm writing on in the background, it has got everything you need to find out all of the corruption in the United States of America. It's like it's like the Q map that it just is. Yeah. So um, and that's on there as well. Pindar's on there. Everything's on there. So like that's what I'm saying is like I don't feel any I don't feel remorseful for doing this stuff when at the end of the day, that's what I'm trying to get people to drink from is that pool of information. Not literally, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. that, drink from that. Blood. Because you did yeah. have a cup full of blood there. Um, yeah, reptilian aliens is a huge belief of mine, like the whole reptilian right. alien agenda. So if you look at the cover art, like my symbol is the snake, like my, my um, you know, a lot of images, a lot of uh, uh, artwork in the cartoon sense has uh, snake images and reptilians and stuff. That's just to lead you to figure out what's happening with that, because I believe in that whole thing. And just to say, guys, um, you know, practice discernment, uh, go out there and research these things. Um, Nick's views are not necessarily those of mine. However, I have 100%. been down these these, these uh, rabbit holes. Yeah, don't week. believe me. That's my favorite thing any yeah. researcher has ever said is don't believe me. Go out, do your own research, do your own due diligence, find out the truth for yourself. You know, what's what's this product? Um, this is a vapor product. I actually have it right over here. It's um, it's for like uh, vaping marijuana or tobacco products, etc. But they hit me up. They wanted to sponsor me. And, um, you know, again, like I saw their symbol. I'm like, oh, that's a triangle. I'm going to put that over the eye. Uh, pe- you know, uh, people are, I feel like, more likely to check this company out and myself out because yeah. of this imagery. Listen, what people have already done with this imagery now, it, you know, 20 years later, it's become something else. Like now people like us are able to take it and use it for our own means. The same way LGB is being used for Let's Go Brandon right now, as opposed to, you know, um, the LGBT movement. It's like if you're going to, you know, take some of our hashtags, we're going to take some of your hashtags, etc. So <laughs> Saying this, I think this this uh, actual the, the symbology behind this is actually um, of, of Viking or, origin origin, if I'm uh, correct, actually. So it's not um, symbolism. Sorry. Their symbolism, like the pocket. This, yeah, this the yeah, three tri- yeah, it's locking yeah. triangles. If I believe, like a lot of I people think, um, mistake correct, this yeah. for um, sort of Masonic uh, Illuminati symbolism, but I think this one actually might have roots in Norse mythology. The point I'm getting with, with this bit is, is some of the product promotion. So um, this one here, it's quite yeah. blatant. I mean, how how are you getting all of these? these brands with this you know this yeah i mean um, at the end of the day like i think a lot of people are seeing and hearing what's going on and and they're like well he's our guy you know like a couple of vapor companies that were called like illuminati vapor hit me up and wanted to sponsor me because of you know the videos and the stuff the imagery that they're seeing it's like listen i'm putting this out as a calling card if you know yeah. about this if you've heard of this symbol if you know about these snakes then nick natoli come listen to this music Do you I, see what i I'm get saying? it I get it. I get it. But it, it's, just, I... it's just so it's just so weird that these companies that all have these these all see an eye are contacting you. It seems like almost like they want to chuck their symbolism on your head, right? To right. To, to be like you know to laugh in our faces in, in a no, way. Do you know? Do you of, understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah because... a lot of people from my marketing hit these people up. Like it's a lot okay. less mysterious than you think. Than, like, than I, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And, and then there's a there's a clothing brand. Just one more I look at. Um, and uh, you know I like I like that 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 top actually turn off your TV. So the other, the, the, just this last one, uh, the the cap here. I mean, this is just straightforward. There's not even any yeah. Um, yeah. sort of variation to the symbol. This is a very much a, <laughs> a Masonic symbol, plain as day, right on, on your hat. And, I, yeah. and I, I, I get your explanation for this, and it, it makes sense. Um, but uh, this one was just like, hang on a minute, like this this one's quite silly because I mean I wouldn't go around wearing that in in, in the street, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but, listen, but... And, and I'm a weird guy when it comes to the whole Masonic thing. Like I am a Freemason. I I align. Sorry? With, I am a Freemason. I align with a lot of Freemasonic beliefs and ideals. Um, there's a lot to Freemasonry that is not nefarious. There's a lot to the Brotherhood that's just has nothing to do with nefarious ideas or taking over the world. A lot of the best and most amazing American patriots happen to be Freemasons. So there's a lot of the history that I actually appreciate and promote in a positive manner. Listen, 
that symbol right now, if you're talking about that symbol, where is it found in the, the majority of media? It's Nicolas Cage's national treasure. And this is a promotion from Disney about Freema for free Freemasonry. So it's like, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to say that maybe that symbol is now on a patriot's back who is talking about what's happened in his country, um, having to do with Freemasonic beliefs and, and, free, and Freemasonry and promoting what he's talking about, which, as you've heard in my music, is nothing but the truth, man. OK, well, um, you know, I, I'm aware that on the lower le levels of Freemasonry. So, you know, I've I've spoken to Freemasons before, um, you know, and there's a lot of talk about hey, Hang on. This this, this kind of uh, the, the bad connotations of Freemasonry doesn't happen, in the, in, in, you know, yeah. until the higher levels like the 33rd degree sure. etc um and you know i i um have known uh freemasons before who you know all they do is go is, is a boys club you know they go down they go down the pub they have a drink they talk about their their brand new car the flashy car uh, help each other out in terms of um you know being connected as in all having different businesses being able to oh. um sort you know help each other out and doing the uh you know the kind of homeless you know see i see them going out giving food to the homeless and doing you know doing these sort of community activities yeah. so um i'm not saying that anyone that's going to be a freemason is bad i mean i i am i'm quite surprised that, that you've said that um, yeah and I, I don't talk about it I don't like give lodge numbers or talk about it in interviews and stuff like it's a personal part of my life i'm just mm. telling people like at the end of the day, if somebody's got, you know, symbolism of, you know, the eye of Providence or eye of Horus, et cetera, if what's coming out of their mouth, what are they doing? Did they just make a music video about fucking Pizzagate and talk about nothing but like what's going on in this country and try to promote? You see what I'm saying? So judge mm -hmm. people by their actions and not by, you know, symbolism or you know, I just, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, symbolism will be their downfall, not ours. Okay. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? At the end of the day, you know, it's confusing, if, and I, I understand how how confusing it is. <laughs> yeah, but if you do good in the world, um, and you know, if you try to uh, to help people, uh, and, you know, you're not behind any of these the nefarious sort of activities, and you're not a bad person, then you know, you've got nothing to worry about. And like as you said earlier, you, you, your conscience is, is clear, as you say, in terms yeah, of. I, I started a foundation for the Save the Kids movement that every uh, T-shirt that you buy from me, you get, you know, this money gets donated uh, to a to a charity that directly helps um, children um, away from child tra trafficking and, and uh, prostitution, all this stuff. So it's like. If I'm part of the agenda, <laughs> then I'm doing some great work. I don't know. Maybe the guys who are part of the agenda aren't so bad. I don't know. <laughs> we all know they got a secret handshake. And I think the virus really man-made. I got to spit the truth. No, it can't wait. And I'm screaming, fuck a mass mandate. Uh, ever since Biden and Harris. Everybody looking like a terrorist. Not my president. No, I'm embarrassed. So I'm here to raise up all y'all awareness. Uh. Got me thinking what my country on Got me singing where my country gone And I know the truth, I ain't sleeping at night They trying to start a war between the blacks and the whites Oh, excuse me, it's Asian But they change the script like every single day, man Yeah, and I don't mean to offend ya But I see right through all their agendas Uh, feeling like I'm V for Vendetta Ready for a war, we don't need to surrender They got a vaccine that'll end ya I'm the people's champ and I'm here to defend ya They trying to blur all the genders And they trying to kill our amendments and they trying to kill our independence till we rise up and get reckless. We're going down, down, down. So let's scream and shout. Ain't no doubt, doubt, doubt. Look around, round, round. Going down, down, down. And there's no way out. I can't see your mouth. What's this all about? It's going down. Seems to make y'all madder. I'm sitting back with laughter. Everybody on the same page, same chapter. I don't know, guys. What do you think about um, what Nick's doing? What do you think about his work? What do you think about uh, his revelation that he's a Freemason? What do you think about his explanation to what he feels about the imagery and symbolism being now adopted? Um, what do you guys feel about this whole revelation? Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. And please go and watch the full interview. Uh, it was a good interview. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe to M Secret Truth. Thanks for watching, guys.